Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the last game I have. It is the final match of BSL Season 14, Hasu League, Round of 32, Group D. Mitak starting in the bottom left-hand corner as the pink Zerg up left-hand corner. We have Gebs starting as the purple Protoss. As far as the color swap, that is what we're going to have to work with. But it's, I don't know, it feels kind of like a Valentine's Day sort of feel to it. Even though we are, at least when I'm recording this, this is March. I don't know the. But I've heard of Mitek. I have not seen him play. And otherwise, I don't know what happened in the previous matches, aside from the fact that Gebs ended up losing to Fisheye in the winners bracket. So we know that Gebs took game one uh, in his overall set. And so, and basically, what this comes down to is, is this is the information I got for you. Whoever wins this match wins and moves to the round of sixteen. Whoever loses is going to get bounced. That's about it. <laughs> So announcements otherwise. It'll be interesting to see. I don't know whether these guys... I haven't seen these guys in Chobo League or other locations. I'm glad to see the new blood across the board. But they are, yeah, big question marks for me. Looks like we're seeing Midtac to go ahead and plant down a 9 hatchery. Forge spawning again. Is this going to be another quick match where we're seeing the... Well, it depends on the scout. So Gebs looks like he's going to scout the upper right hand corner first. 12 hatch a little bit of a safer build on four player maps. On maps like Eclipse, especially with the Forge first opener, can be really challenging to deal with those cannons behind the mineral line. And that just seems to be a standard thing that Protoss do these days. But this time, we've got the 9 hatch, which does result sometimes in a lot of Zerglings behind this. Now, does Gebs get greedy? He gets greedy. He, he doesn't have a probe in position currently to drop a cannon. The Overlord's going to spot. And I don't know that Gebs is going to see this Overlord either. So there's the initial... Okay, now he sees it. There's the initial cannon. Mitek needs to make sure that Overlord actually doesn't stay on this flight path. Like, adjust flight path so it doesn't uh, get wiped out. But he needs to... So... It... He can go ahead and go Nexus, but he does need to put down a second cannon. Because with that 9 hatch opener, you can produce a lot of Zerglings rather rapidly. And that might be what Mitak is planning right here. So Spawning Pool going to finish. He's going to have a lot of Larva to work with. So that natural expansion's up. That should be an indicator to Gebs. Does he recognize it is the next question. Or does he go for Gateway first? So there's the slew of Zerglings. Let's see if there's more. Yeah, so this is just going to be a big Zergling Flood. Still only one cannon, and it looks like he's going to try to... It looks like Gebs is going to go ahead and try to put a gateway first. And really, this is where, yeah, I think cannons... A cannon before gateway might have been more beneficial. This probe making its way back might have recognized it. So there's the gateway. Still going to need either, either way. He's probably going to want to pull probes. Pylon in the main. Assimilator warping in. And here come the Zerglings. A lot of Zerglings. And a quick third base for Mitak as well. Gebs leaving this front door completely open, though. Not blockading with anything. So the Zerglings able to get on that first cannon. And this might be a quick one. Yeah, nothing... Yeah. Gebs now calling the laugh out loud. Didn't recognize it. Calling the map. I don't know. I feel like that was more... Uh, Misrecognized build orders. So Mitak going to advance on a nine hatch opener. Honestly, not the game you want to see uh, at this stage of BSL, but hope you guys enjoyed it. Regardless, thanks for listening.